welcome back everyone to this video tutorial today our topic is particle swarm optimization I will explain it through MATLAB programming before we move on let me mention some things I have designed a video on PSO two years ago in that video I took a very simple objective function that is about minimization of a function I have explained the working of PSO through paint and through writing in that video that is a very important video and I have explained the working of PSO in very detail so don't miss that video in this video I have changed the objective function here objective function is load flow analysis because we have a lot of work on load flow analysis and its implementation through PSO so here we have taken IEEE 69 bus system here is load data line data and actually PSO is our main concern load flow analysis is not our main concern I have already explained the working of load flow analysis I will also place that video link in the description so please take a look at that so PSO is our main concern and here so let's get start two digits are selected here so we have a population here of we have number of population 80 so if we select four digits then we have a more number of populations so here are PSO parameters in based of these parameters PSO will converge here is initialization so here we have two parameters that is that are input so in our position part we have we have selected two digits so in position we have two locations for digits and two sizes for digits because we have selected two digits so if we select four digits then we have eight numbers in the position four will be the size of digits and four will be the locations respectively so here is the cost which we will find through load flow analysis we will we will give our input which will be the location and size for digits to the load flow and we will get output from the load flow as cost here we have a load flow in load flow we have type dg we have selected type of dg as to inject real and reactive powers here number of digits that can be one two three four and then here is dg so what will be mentioned dg here dg will be the location and size of our dg so this cost will be, we will find through load flow analysis and then we have velocity for our particles and then we will update our best position and best cost so in initial part we have zero velocity here so here we will save our best values in our global best cost so initially it have infinite value so when PSO will converge then we have a minimum value less value than infinite and then we will update this global best cost so here we have a population start of population initial position so let me click on step so here we have particle position so let me show you what is inside it so in particle position we have four values separated by commas so first two will be the size of the digits and next two will be the locations for digits so three and fourth value will be estimated to estimated to, uh, to get the fixed number for digit locations and then we have initial velocity for particles and in next step we have to find the cost so as I show you earlier that this is the load flow in this command we are switching toward the load flow file and in load flow file we have three inputs three input variables 
type of DG is selected to be 1, number of DGs are 2 and position will include the 4 value which I have show you here. These 4 values, these 4 values will be our input to the load flow file and then load flow file will find cost for us. Cost here is actually the power losses for. So when I click on next, let me open the variables again and then our cost is updated. So our objective function is we are going to put the in inputs to our load flow and our load flow will find the cost for us and then we have to update the best position so we are going to update the particle best position here so now it's particle best position particle and then we have best in best we have to update all the values positions cost to let's open best in best we have same values so still cost is not calculated in next step cost will be so now cost and position both are updated particle so here we have 250.67 so we have same cost so the values which we get these are mentioned as personal best and then we have to compare the personal best with the global best cost so initially we have global best cost select chosen to be infinite and the value we will, which we will get have less value than it so let me click on cursor and when click on continue for three to four times let me remove this circle so let me show you particles sorry it was uh, sorry the program actually is executed let me terminate the program So let me show you what's happening here in global best and how to update these values. Here we have a particle. In particle we are in particle we have four values. I mean the program is executed four populations. We have total 80 populations here. So we have best value that is 216 is the best value and combination for it is 12 and 32 locations 2116 and so where is the global best so here is 216 and 32 and 12 so best value will be stored in the global best so in this way all the populations which we have selected which we have chosen here all the populations so this program will execute it for 80 times here because we have 80 selections here so then it will store the best value in our global best so in next part let me show you here so click on continue so now I just open it up so we have 80.58 is the best value here So our personal best will have equal solutions as our populations. So our no number of populations are 80 here and we have personal best have just let me show you. We have particles best values 80. So we have 80 values here 80 population and 80 we have 80 particles here so at 80 number we have personal best of 626 so particle into best particle into 80 best so 80th particle best position is that is personal best for 80 particle is 628 and global best is the best 
the best cost which is possible in this in these 80 particles so that is about 80 here is 83 and our best cost cost is 80 here so this will be the global best from all these and all these particles have best and these are referred to the personal best for each particle so I hope so P best and G best is clear up to now and then we have PS so main loop here so here we are going to update our particle velocities so here's the part particle velocity which is particle let me show you what is inside it particle and to so currently we have zero at our particles that is initial value for all the particles and then we have particle best position minus particle position particle best position and we have to subtract the first position for the particle here is the best position and we have to subtract particle first position here particle into particle i into position mean i is currently 80 so I think next loop is not started here so next loop will be start here now we have i equals to 1 and particle i into position means first particle position and we are subtract this from the particle particle best position so let me show you what it means particle position just open it up and so here we have these values sorry so we have personal best and we have its first position are exactly uh, are actually same now but in next steps these values will be updated and then we have global best and we are subtracting the first particle position here and then we have update velocity limits and at this time we have first particle position plus particle velocity so at this point particle first particle velocity is updated let me show you so here is updated velocity of the particle so in this way particle position will also be updated and then velocity mirror effect and then we have apply position limits and then we have evaluation in this evaluation we have particle position updated and then we will send these value as an input to the load flow file and then it will find cost for us let me show you particle cost here so so particle cost here is updated here initially we have 251 I think and now it is 192 so our particle first position cost is updated and then we have to compare it with the global best so if the particle cost which is now which we have get now this time by this formula by these inputs the cost which we have calculated here is particle I cost and particle best cost is the previous best cost which we have get so we will compare and we will take the best possible value in our personal best and then we will compare the personal best with our global best so if our particle best cost personal best is better than global best then we will update the global best so we have to print out the global best cost which we have to get and then we have plots and then in load flow to file we have to take all the inputs which we get from the global best position and because we have updated both values personal global best cost and global best in this global best we have let me show you so 
particle i best in particle best we have both position and cost so both these will be so both these will be over the location and size inputs to the load flow to file and then it will print out the results for us so hopefully you understand the implementation of PS so, so if you have any question you can place a comment so thanks for watching so I show you the working of PSO but uh, I will not recommend its execution by 10 iterations it will not uh, it will not generate a very good results so it's not generating a very good results here are the plots here is the so thanks for watching hopefully you understand the implementation of PSO so if you have a question feel free to ask thanks for watching see you